Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for the 3rd through the 10th of November. Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? It feels like maybe there's some immense alchemy transformation, lifestyle changes that you guys are considering making, that you're making presently, or that you will be making in the coming weeks. We will have an opposition between Pluto and Mars, so that might set off... Um, it's a sextile um, between and an opposition essentially because it's earth and water if you break down the elements but first and seventh house matters however for you Scorpio um, Capricorn does represent your third house of communication while cancer represents your ninth house of beliefs and look at that we got watery energy and guide so there was an interesting mov movement movie called adjustment bureau um, and it's on Netflix so you can watch it if you have that subscription and it spoke to angels not being able to um, control or guide or direct your feelings when we're in water which it's so interesting because it's like you know the ocean has so much memory one of my friends she wrote about um, how the ocean is just like the great mother it could feel our every kick it could feel our every movement um, every bubble that we blow you know under the water and those things are so magical so maybe you guys need to do a water ritual um, water practice even you know brushing your teeth can be a water ritual practicing that abundance of every droplet of water being pure and clean we have metis wisdom and in here i see the moon um, this looks like a waxing moon as we head towards that full moon so i know i said <laughs> i know what i said but hey we're gonna look at um the full moon of your sign um, in Taurus because it's also giving that opposition sextile energy of earth and water, Taurus and Scorpio. So that will be on the 15th of November at 24 degrees Taurus. So this does impact the neck, vocal cords, throat, and the thyroid gland. And wisdom will come through authentic communication. Wisdom will come through heart-centered communication. Wisdom will come. And I, f I feel that um, meditation is a gift. It's something that we can intentionally connect to our guides. We can intentionally connect to our spirit team. And if you have any question, there is wisdom in connecting to your guides. So let's see what this 36 is netting to a nine so it's it's really asking us to focus on that energy of cancer into leo because it's going from 29 to zero and we also have at the end of the week both the moon and mercury being at zero degrees sagittarius to activate your second house of your beliefs and how far you can go with your beliefs the infinite portal of zero the all-knowing the all-feeling zero Metis wisdom, the empowerment message. Experience woven together with knowledge creates a beautiful thing, wisdom. Its parts are entwined like a finely made rope that is so strong it can't be cut. Ooh, wisdom, once earned, becomes an essential part of you. Right now, the Greek goddess of wisdom, Metis, says you know exactly what to do in your current circumstances. Cool. The real question is, do you have the courage and commitment to make a wise choice? Ooh. There's a lot of energy coming through. Your answer is to not hide. You're being invited to look within rather than without. Take the wisdom you already have, so experience and knowledge. Experience and knowledge. Take the wisdom you already have and apply it to your question. Perhaps, however, you must instead draw forth the humility to find someone wiser to weigh in. So that would be your guides, your spirit team. In this powerful time, others may seek you out for your wisdom. It's also an auspicious period when new relationships are founded on deep truths shared with others. You're entering a potent period of your life to share all that you are and all that you have learned. Extraordinary things are possible when the goddess Metis reminds you of your wisdom and the need to express it. So this throat, this vocal cord in that 24 is netting to a 6, which... When we're believing in ourselves and we feel confident, we can be received by others in different ways, in ways that are enlightening for ourselves and others. You see, it's almost funny, like around my head because of the color of my room versus this background, you see a bit of an aura. And you guys might have that. You guys might really be um, letting in light as you practice what my husband, Scorpio, sun and moon, a stellium of Scorpio, uh, 
he's practicing an abstinence from food. So he's allowing for his body to physically consume light as energy. So it's opening him up, excuse me. Um, maybe some of you guys have some issues with what you see for yourself and what you actually believe is possible. Just take your life uh, story, for example, and I'm sure that you can find a few instances where you chose to express your truth and it just drew people to you like um, bees to honey, like bees to the hive. They know where to go because they know that you got it. Alignment message. The goddess Metis learned a painful lesson long ago and does not want you to go through the same experience. She chose to make herself small, dim, her life force in her inner light, and reduce her power to keep love. Who or what in your life is causing you to do the same? So for me, we listened to a lot of the Frozen soundtrack and the song Love is an Open Door came through a lot. So um, if people want you to stay small, they're not wanting to grow with you. And the natural state of creation is growth and expansion. So it's important that we focus on how we can grow and maybe what we're projecting onto others um, to even be able to take in what we have to say and to receive us because Scorpio you guys have Black Moon Lilith and the South Node in your 12th house so the divine is helping you to wipe away any residue any um, leftover emotional processes that we started to shed during the Aries full moon at 24 degrees it was also at 24 degrees and now Taurus is just taking it up a notch um, from your sixth house of daily life to your seventh house of relationships and full moons are a time for release so Scorpio do you dim yourself out of fear of reprisal or because you have a sense that you are unworthy and unlovable or perhaps too much or too smart so um, Sensei Christopher was hecky and Robin, Robbie Hunt spoke to um, this energy of Aquarius being the one that was like a little bit too aloof because they felt like they were too smart. Check out where Aquarius is in your chart and see which house it's in, where it sits. Um, do you have planets there? Do you have any aspects there? And see how that energy of maybe being the one who knew too much has b blocked you and created this effect of I have to just stay small, I have to be aloof when I'm really on fire for something. The goddess Metis offers an important alignment task. You must face this fear, shame, anxiety, and say a resounding no to that voice. It's coming from the mind very much so. It's not coming from the heart. Even in the face of the greater story of cultural conditioning, be brave and courageous and ask how you can be a part of the solution. Playing small is an excuse to not be accountable for your personal power, which could be leading, it could lead you to want to take power from other people. That's the toxic side of this, okay? We don't want to fall into that, Scorpio. And to not be effective in the world. So that would bring to you people who also are not effective in the world versus those people who want to make impact and are on fire for their life. You have an abundance of life force energy in you, so come out of the shadows and let yourself shine, Scorpio. Take the risk and bring your wisdom to the world. We need you. I think that that spoke for itself. <laughs> okay, let's get a couple of cards and let's see if the angels have some guidance for you for this week. Um, outside of the moon moving through your sign, at the start of the week, you guys have the sun moving from 11 degrees to 18 degrees over the course of the week. And we have Saturn retrograding from um, 12 degrees and I believe 48 seconds to 42 seconds there's a six second change so this receptivity in your in your house of your romantic wishes um, romantic achievement romantic fulfillment might have to come from some wisdom that you're you've gained during a, a long period of not sharing it feels like um, the by the sun at 18 degrees net nine you will finally be ready and that 36 does also net to a, a nine to share some of this wisdom that you've had from a period of permitting the four of earth yeah there could have been someone who looked like this who discouraged your authenticity there could have been someone who was um, really disapproving of you and they were really influential in your life but five of air is saying that it's time for that to change it's time for that um, negative impact of someone who was maybe drawn to you because of your unwillingness to express your authenticity um, they, they were also hiding out too and they might be a tourist um, or they might have Venus, Moon, rising in Taurus, Scorpio. So this would be someone who you're learning to 
um, respect for that energy exchange, but move on because it's time. The world needs you. The world needs your light more than ever during Scorpio season. So let's see what Salvador Dali has to say. We have the Ace of Coins. Coins. Something's being born. Maybe it's corn. Apparently, the Mayans believe we came from corn, um, which I feel to be so interesting because we consume so much of it now with processed food and snacks. Even I was just looking at blue corn, like I really need some of that. And this Five of Cups. So. Um, perhaps you're rebirthing an origin story. Perhaps you're learning to see emotional fulfillment in new ways that is allowing for you to be reborn, that's allowing for you to see, okay, well, maybe um, it was meaningful for me to um, chase women and play basketball for years, um, but now I actually want to have a family, to um, create a business, to um, go see the beautiful, I'm looking at this landscape that's through this archway, go see this gorgeous earth and to share my teachings or to take a sabbatical from work yeah we have this um, four nine of wands so there's a part of you that definitely feels or felt I'll put that in past tense so we can move forward Scorpio um, felt out of sorts you felt like you didn't belong and now it's time that you'd be celebrated and I love how it's a nine to the six so we're going to act on being celebrated um, healing waters. I think that's going to be our final card. Healing waters. How can Scorpio connect with their guides? What do their guides want them to know for this week? And the best thing about your spirit team is that if you ask them for a sign or a symbol, they will send you one. So ask your question. We got two cards for you. The sirens and the pearl. Use your voice expansion and freedom and alchemy the reward at the end from grit to grace wow so there might be um a sound healing that you can attend maybe one that you can share you can share your own gifts that you might have been hiding because maybe you had like a voice coach who was just a little bit too um focused on you and that's something that i've noticed is that sometimes people who believe in us so much can actually be a little bit debilitating because um, their their vision for us is a little bit more than what we have seen and they are actually like really attentive to what we can't perceive yet so let's read what sirens has to say soul and creed how are you being called to share your voice and expand into your most alive empowered self that empowerment is coming through again in greek mythology the sirens were half women half birds sea creatures that would entice fishermen and sailors with their sweet and sensual songs Free and empowered, they were not afraid to share their voice and use their natural gifts to attract what they wanted. This card is an inv invitation to own your gifts, to share your voice, and to surrender into the most expanded version of who you are, Scorpio. To give yourself to the music that plays within, to share your song without wavering, to be free, and to dance unrestrained. In life, there's an opportunity to become more and more alive and free with each passing day. However, most of us feel more and more trapped by the life that we've so consciously created. What do you need to do to embrace life fully? How can you step into your most expansive self? Often, while we're growing up, we experience hurt, losses, and endings that we have not been able to address. Those memories become stagnant within, and they kind of create a crust that doesn't allow for us to sing or to move our body to dance. However, each moment of our life is an opportunity to change, thrive, and grow. Each moment offers an opportunity to express ourselves, to find our natural, unique way to dance and sing. And the pearl. This is alphabetized, thank goodness. Alchemy, the reward at the end from grit to grace. So healing waters activation. I am ready to receive the jewels of my life. I am ready to alchemize my hardships into healing and my grit into grace. Pearls are one of the most precious treasures of this world and certainly of the sea. I, I agree. While the specifics of their creation remain a mystery, they're believed to be the result of a natural process. Certain mollusks produce pearls as a way of protecting themselves from irritants that enter their shells. The formation of a natural pearl is a rare occurrence, with only one in roughly 10,000 oysters producing one. And they can take anywhere from six months to several years. This card brings a precious pressing message that something sacred is being created and it's likely being created by you, Scorpio. Maybe you've been creating something in the physical, such as a child, 
a home, or bringing an idea to life. Or perhaps your pearl is more metaphorical than that, having dedicated yourself to alchemizing your hardships into healing, grit, into grace. Whatever it is, you're being acknowledged for your work and the deep roots required to truly rise. Chilhi Odna, pronounced Klina, Klina, <laughs> was a Celtic goddess of beauty, love in the ocean, and it was believed she could be found in every ninth wave. Wow, that nine again. I love it. It said that people would whisper their wishes and prayers into a small pearl offering placed within a shell tied with seaweed and cast into the sea on the ninth wave in the hope that the goddess would grant their prayer. Offer, offer up your prayers to Klina for the alchemy to continue to happen. The jewel at the end of the rainbow is near. I have never heard of that Klina on the ninth wave and make a pearl offering. That's so cool. All right, that's your guidance, Scorpio. So I would check out, 369 is coming through so much. So what's in your third house? What's in your sixth house? What's in your ninth house? Watch those readings. I give a one minute summary for those of you all, you all wanting something a little bit more quick um, and to the point on TikTok. And you guys, I hope that you had a blessed new moon in your sign. Have a blessed solar return. Happy incarnation anniversary. Speak life and love into yourself for the year ahead. Um, as I've advised Aries and Libra in their readings, when you find yourself on a downward spiral where your mind has taken over, the heart is nowhere to be found, just start to affirm, I easily follow my heart and intuition. Type that in the comments if you'd like to activate that guidance. And until next time, Scorpio, all of my aloha.